What's up everyone? Nard is back at it, this time showing you how to paint this acrylic octopus. I know, weird, right? But first... So good. Coffee makes me feel like... I have no power! To get this video done. So, let's jump right into it. All right, all right, so what do we got here? Um, this is my poor handheld camera skills along with a SH Fig Arts Body Coon, the gray version, six inch, right next to this acrylic octopus. Um, we're gonna need a reference photo. I pulled this one off the interwebs. And since I'm here on the web, um, let me show you where I got this octopus from. No, this is not a sponsored video, I wish. Uh, but I picked this up at Hobby Lobby, so you can just, um, we have a local one, but you go online, type in octopus and boom. There you go. And they're actually on sale right now for eight bucks. First color we're gonna have is, boom, titanium white. White, basically. Um, you're gonna want some type of flesh tone. Um, this, I had some light portrait pink. These are all paints I had laying around. Um, some magenta, then uh, yellow ochre, and one of my favorites is ombre. I like using this instead of black really great not so dark okay so let's go ahead by and start by brushing on that soft portrait pink that kind of fleshy color so we're just doing that to the bottom of this and kind of like I picked that reference I didn't want to paint the little suction parts of the tentacle because it's gonna be sliding around or being moved so we're doing the portrait pink around those so we've got about uh, two coats on here so this is after two coats, and yeah, you can see I got some here and there on the on the little suction part. But we'll come back around and detail that out later. Let's start off with this magenta. Uh, what I like to do is I put water on the brush so it makes it more fluid, I guess. So go through with that magenta, a watered down version, and get that all nice and covered. So once we got that original base coat on what we're going to do is want to add some depth and shadows and the way we're going to do that is with some of that uh, raw umber and that one we're going to use very uh watered down and kind of light and that's just to get like you want to scrub it really deep in there just again and all those um uh, little nooks and crannies So once you've got all that laid on in there, you're going to come back around and go back over with that magenta again. So this is just to lighten up all the, the areas that got really dark from that raw umber. And again, another layer, it's just giving more texture and balance to, to the figure. Once that is dried out, we're gonna come back around and add a little bit more of that flesh tone to add highlights just on, you know, like the surface bumps, the highest peaks in the texture. So as you go through your whole figure, getting that all on there, make sure you get it where you would like it to, to have that that look. And once again, come back with that magenta. Just covering all that area again. And this is the final little highlights that I put. You'll just kind of want to almost dry brush those on very lightly.
Once you're satisfied with the way the top looks, we're going to flip this guy around and start fixing the ones that the little suction cups we got paint on. So we're just going to go through, get those all dialed in back to white again. Now we are moving on to the eyes. We're getting close here to the end. So I'm using that yellow ochre for the yellow in the eyes. And these mostly were all two layers, at minimum two coats. All right, now that we've got the yellow in, try it time to add the pupils. Just using Probably the raw umber. I was going to say black, but I didn't use any black. You can use black. We'll go through and get that other pupil in there. And finally, we're coming in with the last little details, the some romber around the eyes and just giving some depth and shadow. All right, time to flip this octopus over and I didn't like how blank it looked. So I'm going with that raw umber and do kind of how, what octopus, octopuses <laughs> look like, say that really quick. What octopuses look like, um, from underneath. So I did the raw and burn the center and then I came in with the pink from the outside and when they mix together it makes that gray and it gives that depth so it looks like the hole in the center. So here we go from a raw white to the nice little colorized version and now it is time to find a home where you were originally intended for. Right here. Boop on our bookshelf next to the Hubble book. From the highest of highs to the depths of the sea. Looks pretty cool to me. So as always, I appreciate you guys for tuning in and checking out this tour and actually sticking around to the end. So um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Blah, blah, blah. And if uh, you got an idea for a video that you'd like to see me do, go ahead and put that in the comments below. And who knows, maybe your idea will be the next video. So until the next time, go make something.